Miss Hello, my name is Morello Kane, and it's the Hair Debate Show. Woo! Okay, so now today is our part two of the segment of myths and moralities of heat damaged hair. And so we are going to have a very heated discussion today. Okay, on the Hair Debate Show, stay tuned. Where we debunk, debate, and discover all things to learn. And welcome back. Today we have a very heated, uh, it, it may, okay, because we don't have, let me just say this, we don't have. D Hardy with us today, and I tell you, um, D do feel better. He he was not well to be on the show. So, but you know, but we're gonna discuss it. The last time of part one, it just got so heated. It was mm. almost downright ugly. It but was. Just, <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna discuss it today. And so I'm here with my panel. Okay, my name is Morello Kane. I'm the brand ambassador of MoreauOnThingsHair.media. I'm the author of The Seven Love Languages of Hair, Master Cosmetologist, and host of The Hair Debate Show. Okay, so now that I have to my right is Amanda Nicholson. Okay, she is a marriage and family therapist out of Atlanta. And then I have Dr. Donna Ari Uo. Ari O. Uo. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so she has her doctorate in human sexuality, and then we have the fabulous. Thank you. <laughs> Just looking beautiful in her green over there. Miss um, <laughs> Tiffany Allen. Okay, we talk, talking about 23 years as an instructor is absolutely amazing. Thank so you. So it's a lot of knowledge there when we talk about this. He's damaged here, so I'm Ooh. just saying. I'm going to go through that out Okay, and so then also, too, she's an esthetician. And, oh, I got to continue adding on. Um, also, <laughs> to a master cosmetologist and a salon owner of the House of Bondos and McDonough. Mm -hmm. So, thank you, thank you. And this is our panelist here at the Hair Debate Show. So, we're just going to talk about it. Oh, why are you guys just look like you? Because we, we, we know. Okay, well, we know. I remember where it went last time. <laughs> and we had to. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so so now, well, let me just make sure because the last time D had you incorporated, oh y'all just had a whole little plan over there that you guys had. Well, you know, on. he was using my phone to do <laughs> additional research. Okay, he was like, no, 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 I want to get these specifically. And I was like, wow. Well. <laughs> so so now, when it comes to heat damage hair, and and when you know in our industry, you have clients that will walk in. And just, you know, they don't say, okay, well, I need to just have my hair assessed or whatnot. They just come in. Well, you know what? My hair is heat damaged. You know, I did this, that. Or, you know, I'm ready to go ahead and get the bit chopped. And I'm like, well, hold on a second. Because, again, there are different facets of, when you talk about heat damaged hair, there's You're cheating. How, how is, let's, oh. let's hear what she got to say first uh, okay, before so, you go uh, okay, defending uh, yourself. Uh, uh, from uh, 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 Stop cheating. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> how okay. you feel about heat damaged hair? Well, <laughs> Welcome right. to the hair debate. <laughs> so, I think there are several levels to heat damage hair. Okay. Some could say sun can be heat damage. Oh. Depending mm. on what type of hair you have. Okay. Where you live at. Okay. But there can definitely be heat damage from the sun. Um, what type of tools are you using to mm -hmm. cause heat damage? Mm -hmm. Who who caused the heat damage? Okay. Um, so there's different lev levels to me. Um, on how I will react to someone saying my hair is heat damaged. Because sometimes it may not be heat damaged. Okay. It could be something else. It could be chemically damaged. Mm. Okay. And you just think it's heat damaged. Okay. So 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 now what would that look like? What would the hair look like if it was chemically damaged? Uh-huh. And or heat damage. Um well again for for me for heat damage it depends on, okay, so say for instance, if you got color today uh -huh. and you've dyed your hair jet black and it's brown, right. you have heat damage from a tool you're using. Mm -hmm. Or maybe the tool's too hot, maybe you have ran over it too many times. Um, you can live close to the sun or be outside in the sun if you have naturally red hair. A lot of times you can have sun damage to your hair because your hair, you don't have any protection on it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it could be sun damage from the heat outside. Um, 
so it just depends. Sometimes you can buy a blow dryer and you blow dry your hair every day as some people have to do. They shampoo and blow dry their hair every day and that tool could be too hot or you could be using it in the wrong way and mm -hmm. it can damage your hair. Mm. So now what would the curl pattern look like? It just depends on, it could look fried <laughs> or it could be, it looked like it's so straight that it won't revert back to a, to a curl. Okay. So it, again, it, it depends. It depends on, on what level of heat damage you have so, because you can cause your hair to look like it's been burned with a lighter absolutely from a tool and there's no curl pattern it's just brillo it, right exactly <laughs> so exactly. or you can just over heat use too much heat on it and you have damaged that curl pattern and it's weakened so it could be from a 4c curl now you're looking at a two Okay. Right. Sometimes they even won because it won't revert back to the natural state that it's usually in. I have a question. Yes. Y yes. What I'll does see. one do if it does not go back? <laughs> are you are you stirring the pot? I'm not stirring the pot. No. <laughs> There's no pots here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not a kitchen. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm just asking. I'm just asking a little uh -huh. question. Okay. I'm just What's your question? question? <laughs> <laughs> so if you have four C hair mm -hmm. and now you got two. A or Brillo. Brillo. What if it's Brillo? We got to talk about a whole nother. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah, we might have Absolutely. to talk about starting over. <laughs> right. But if you have um, a reverted that curl pattern and it's weakened and it won't revert back to the curl pattern that you would like to have when you are natural, mm -hmm. um, sometimes you you may have to say. How often do you wear your hair straight? Because if you wear your hair straight all the time, okay, what we're gonna do is we'll use two different heat levels on your hair. So I might straighten it a little bit hotter at the root on your new growth, and then I'm at the bottom, I can do something soft maybe in the 200s to threes. You know, Absolutely. I don't have to use the whole 400 and go over the 1,000 times, I don't wanna do that. Okay. But, um, so it's, it may depend on, on how you like to wear your hair but if you say you know I don't wear my hair straight out of time I don't know how it got like this I know some people say that that can happen in one time but it, it definitely doesn't happen mm. one time not one run okay, through so, no, so not now, one run through so now let me just ask this um, when it pertains to when, when it's at that 2A mm -hmm. is it like considered to be heat damage but before you answer we'll be right back <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Stay tuned with us so we can go ahead and we're not going to set a flame. We just go kind of oh. just let the things that simmer and just see where it's at. Okay? All right. Come back with us. <laughs> For more shows like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every time the Hair Debate has a new episode. Now let's get back to the show. Well, welcome back. And, and let me just say this: we have an uh, we have someone in the audience today. And when you know you just have just the right people asking the right questions. Well, I tell you, um, because again, we're going to touch before we get to that question and what the audience had. Let's talk about this: um, the two A hair, whatnot, and you know what that looks like when it comes to would that truly be considered? heat damage hair like like would you truly say that you know if that hair is straight or whatnot then would it be considered heat damage? so one thing you have to know is hair has memory mm -hmm. so if you have retarded it, it that memory you, you did say that <laughs> <laughs> so if, if i have changed that memory to straightening it talk it's slow, always talk slow. going talk. to be in that straight pattern how do i reteach Oh, yeah, that I've already redirected down. So you're either gonna be letting this grow out and figuring out something to keep this to match this, yes. or you're cutting it. I, I want you to hear that second uh, okay, part well, that you decided that you didn't like. She no, said no, or. No, no, no. Yes, no, I heard the be, or. Because you, you, can, you she can cut it based upon you not liking it that 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 does not necessarily mean that is heat damage you, oh, so you may not like it no 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 okay so what i'm saying is that 
realize that because I said that before. Mm -hmm. I said hair has memory. Mm -hmm. So now, if you do not like when you do that rod set or whatnot, and again, and, and I tell people, quit conf conforming to what you see online. If someone tells you that this curl should look like that, Okay, it doesn't have to. Mm -mm. It's what you want, mm -mm. boo. It's what you want. <laughs> so now if you do that mm -hmm. rod set, because I'm comfortable now because I got somebody that truly understands what I'm talking about. Okay, so <laughs> if you have that curl pattern, and if you want the end to drop, and that's the style that you're looking for, then you rock that. Mm -hmm. You be comfortable in being you. Okay, comfortable. Okay, and so now my hair is very curly, but once it grows out, it turns into a wave. I, I don't put heat on it, right? Mm -hmm. I, so I'm putting no heat on it. But it does. My curl pattern just does change with mm -hmm. the length because it, of the weight. Exactly. So it could be hell. different reasons. Wait, 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 wait. What weight is on the end of your head? Go ahead, tell me. Go ahead. Oh, oh, this what, has been, what, this what, been, oh, this been all added. This is the four C. Uh, this is the four C <laughs> added here. Now that's my so, question. What weight is on the end? What weight is on the end? What weight is at the top? Is it not? Our intentions are is. different because you're the four C <laughs> and I'm the two A. Okay. Now, uh, you know, as far as like my natural. But now let me just say this again. <clears throat> as the, as the, it, and she is the instructor, instructor of 23 years. As she has stated. How long has he been doing what he's been doing? Oh, we 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 not gonna go into that. I'm, I'm gonna I'm, wait I'm, until. I'm just, ah! I, I'm just saying. I got to have his back a little I'm bit, but I'm just saying. But since we talking about this, I feel like the way you try to say it, you try to comfort him, but he not even here. So <laughs> well, I, 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 I mean, I'm gonna just kind of like brush him off. I don't think a little she bit. was coming for I, him. I think she was coming for you. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh no! I don't know. I'm for true. I'm coming for true, and the truth calls for everybody to be set free. That D asked the last time because but, we on a part two and he's not here to be okay, able to but, put his, his oh his and let him know, boy his uh, uh, you know what I'm saying it's you always be fair. You it's had, always you good to have an advocate back. you you had his back you had his back I'm a social worker but, but, I got your back but, but, I'm an advocate you, you have so his I gotta back. advocate for my man but, who's but, not here but I'm just saying but him. I don't want you to be said be in the shade wrong as he was and so what I'm just saying is what I just I mean I'm just gonna put it out that's the truth. Now he's not here to defend himself, but truth is true. Okay, so now at instructor of 23 years, I what you were just saying. So now again, when it comes to the woman that was here with him, agree with him. I want you to remember that. Well, that doctor. Well, no, 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 she did not. No, she did not. No, she did not. No, she did not. In bottom line, truth is, <laughs> there are layers to the hair. And so there's a breaking down process. Now, when it's completely broken down, it's very low, it must come off. Mm -hmm. But until they get to that point, there is a restoration in in, a, in um, restoring the hair. You would need to seek me for my advice on that, and, or me, or Miss um, Tiffany Allen. So, so. And welcome back. We are here with our special guest because, guys, oh, my God, it's just getting so heated in here. You know, I had to just take a little break. And so we have with us Miss Lize Johnson. Okay, she is a master cosmetologist at It's, it's Unique Lize. Okay, in Smyrna. Yes. All right. She's also, too, an instructor. We're talking about 28 years in the field at Hogan Institute. And in but you guys been showing me some love, and I love y'all back. We love you, too. <laughs> And so when I tell you now, you've heard a lot going on up here. I'm not gonna just throw you in the flames like right. that because I, uh, I want to keep you a little bit sacred, keep you protected. Okay. Uh, because honey, this is the middle session right, right here. I'm just the middle session. No, 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 no. I can't you that. I mean, I'm just you know. I'm just, you know I'm just Okay, so now, so now we are talking about the myths mm -hmm. and morality of heat damage hair. Okay. Okay, so would you like to shed some light on our discuss discussion? I was in the audience, and I do agree, ladies, with Miss Morale and also Miss Tiffany. It is levels to hair, but one thing that Miss Morale said that we need to stop doing is the YouTube. If you're not a professional and you come in on us for us to tell you what's wrong with your hair and give you some advice. Don't come in as a walk-in 
unprofessional and tell me my job. So I understand morale. I'm like you, when you know, you know. If I say something, I may not say it the same time the second time, but I mean what I say the very first time. You're coming in, you want me to service your damaged hair? Let me tell you what you need to be done. Like you ladies said, do you have to cut off heat damaged hair? Mm -hmm. It's not always you have to. But if I tell you that we can work it out, like Miss Tiffany said, and we can use this and we can do, let me be me. Meaning like you came here for me to tell you what you need to be done. Don't come in and say chop me off because you may not have to be chopped off. Don't mm -hmm. come in and say save it. It may cannot be saved. Exactly. Like the lady said, it's levels. Mm -hmm. So if I tell you at that level that we just have to cut it off and you came in, you came in for a reason. Your reason was you trust me with your hair. Your reason mm -hmm. was you don't know what to do with your hair. Mm -hmm. So stay in yes. your lane and let me do mine. Mm -hmm. So I agree with you ladies. And, and let me just say mm -hmm. this, and as you were just saying, um, Ms. Lizzie, um, when it comes to um, and, and like you said, there may be a time where it cannot be saved. Correct. And, and it, it hurts us to say, there's nothing that we can do. Exactly. And we not, because it's nothing worse when that hair is damaged to the point where we can't style it. Exactly. Because at the end of the day, you are looking for a desired look. Mm. And when that hair is damaged to the point where you can't get that look, it's not that your hair is an issue. The first thing you're going to say is, we can't style. True. Ah, That's true. You're right. you absolutely I'm just, right. I'm just and that goes back yes. to saying, if you walk in this door and you trust me with it, trust what I say it will work for you. That's what you have to do. Don't come in and tell me my job. Because I'm not going to go to your job and tell you what to do. Because I don't know your job. I'm a professional, and I went to school, and I paid for this knowledge. So let me oh. give it to you for free. Hello. It, okay. I believe that the lanes cross. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do want to make sure I say that because I know that we do have an audience member. Yeah. And this is one thing that we're talking about. It is collaborative. It yeah. is not you are God over my hair. <laughs> it is that I am God over my domain. You it, have information that is also beneficial, which is why I did come seek your services. But that conversation should be just that. Okay. A okay. okay. But wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, hold on. Well, well, let me just, so, because okay, we talked on, about the collaborative Jesus. last time because we compared it to therapy. Yep. You remember? We compared and it we to said therapy. That it should be collaborative. Yeah, we said it should be collaborative. But we know sometimes we have clients that think they know better than mm -hmm. we do. And we try to tell, well, no, you need to work on this and this. And they don't want to do the work. I never, and, I never use those words with my clients. That well, you need to work on this or this. I'm like, well, well I'm not if you saying, work on this, where does it go? Well, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth and telling you that you say you need to do this and this. We know we are trained to tell them in a certain ways well, mm -hmm. what they right. need to work on. Mm -hmm. And I think what they are saying is just like how we want our clients to have that listening ear. Because we can't collaborate. I, you can't collaborate with your client if they don't listen, if they don't want to do the work. Mm -hmm. And I think what they're trying to say is, because I'm sure they're not telling clients, look, I'm the, I'm mm -hmm. the hairstylist and you're going to do what I tell you to do. I think they're just saying that we can't collaborate if you just come in here and just say, well, I know what's wrong with my hair instead of letting me assess you. Because it's just like when we have clients that come in and say, mm -hmm. I'm depressed. And I'm like, mm -hmm. well, let's do an assessment. Mm -hmm. Then we do an mm -hmm. assessment and we find out it's more than depression. It's PTSD or something that mm -hmm. has depressive symptoms. But that's still a conversation. Right. And I think what they're saying is allow me to have that conversation with you as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you come and you say, my hair is heat damaged. I want to chop it all off. Okay, well, let's talk about, do you really want to chop it all off? Or mm -hmm. do you feel like since it that. is heat damaged that you, that you have, have to, to right. chop it all off? So I think we're all saying the same things, mm -hmm. but we're trying to talk over each other and say, well, I said this then, I said this then, so mm -hmm. we're not listening. That's but true. Because you know what? You, you're right. You are God over your own hair right but now but now here's the issue you know it's like at some point as a professional i have to know when to back off and i True. now and then i have to realize and say okay i'm a and i will do this i will babysit you in your wrongdoing until you realize like what right. you said was That's correct right. and mm -hmm. now now we can now talk and now you trust me. me. Mm -hmm. So there are times that I have to allow you to be God over your domain, mm -hmm. over your hair, and then and, and allow you to realize that your way of doing it is not going to work. And now mm -hmm. I babysit you through that process, and then I sit down and say, okay, we have done what you wanted to do. That's right. Okay, now, because see, what I'm here for is 
the results. That's right. Bottom line. That's mm-hmm. because that's the reason why you come to me. Mm-hmm. And so I'm here for results. And that is what I want to give give you. So so my results is I sit down with the consultation. If it's for hair growth, then okay, then that's what it's for. Mm-hmm. If it's for style and you're not worried about the hair growth, then I have to determine if I want to then service you based upon what you heal for. And so, and so again, it's just assessing that and knowing that. Both people are the expert. You're the expert on your knowledge. They're the expert on their day-to-day. Yeah. Right. And if y'all not talking to each other because one wants to be more queen than the other, right. then you're never going to get to it anyway. That's correct. And you're, and you're That's absolutely correct. right. You have, mm-hmm. Well, I tell you what, oh, my God, that I was very. I told you I was going to get you there again. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you, uh, we are coming back because we have the shelf of the hair debate that has prepared something, oh my God, absolutely delicious. And we're gonna talk about how it benefits the hair. We'll be right back. For more shows like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to be notified every time the Hair Debate has a new episode. Now let's get back to the show. Welcome back. We have with us the shelf of the hair debate, Chef V. Woo! Woo! Chef V. Yeah, yeah. Chef V. Oh, oh don't just got all right ridiculous with it this time. How okay. are you? I'm doing excellent, lady. Yeah, it's beautiful. Tell me, what do we have here? We have an avocado shrimp cup. Mm. Oh, yes. this is absolutely amazing. Okay, so now tell us, what do you have in this thing here? I can't beautiful. give you all my ingredients. Yeah. I just, uh, little, just, just a little, just a little, little bit. Just but her. what you have there, you have avocado, mm-hmm. fresh avocado. Mm-hmm. You have jalapeno peppers, a little cilantro with a little twist of lime and tomatoes. Mm. Okay, mm. so now, since we're talking about heat damage hair, and so one of the things in here, because we know what the shrimp does and the iodine and whatnot, but now the avocado. Okay, so now the avocado is just, we're talking about heat damage hair, is great for hydration. Okay, Moshe, would you agree, yeah, ladies? I totally do. Okay, so share with some more about um, what avocado um, can do for your hair. Well, I'm looking at the avocado, and this is a healthy dish first and foremost. And what we stated earlier about the intake, what you put inside your body, it has a big effect on your hair. And avocado can be used for numerous of things of the body on the, on the outside as well. You can do a facial with avocado. It, go, it does real well. You can actually use this as an, a condition. You can make it a conditioner, avocado conditioner. Okay. It works real well on your hair. So this right here, what I'm looking at, it can be eatable, but we can also use it for a substitute to <laughs> make my hair look good. I, I <laughs> but I, I like it, and, and it's good both ways, intake and outtake. Well, we're going to intake this. <laughs> <laughs> so when I tell you, thank you so much, Chef V. So she is absolutely amazing. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for being a part of the hair debate. Thank mm-hmm. you for having me. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, is it mm-hmm. is it everything y'all? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be a one <laughs> bite, but I know we're on camera, so you. Mmm. 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 This is ridiculous, and it should not just be this good like this. Mm-hmm. But again, this is the hair debate, and it is the platform where. We discuss all things about hair because we need to truly put the truth out here on some things that we operate in traditionally Mm -hmm. and then um, in our own way of thinking that should be corrected. And so again, my name is Morello Kane. It is the Hair Debate Show, the platform where we debunk, debate, and discover all things hair.